structure of the city. And despite uh, his um, heinous attacks, the uh, national uh, the government of national accord has taken the due precautions. We, in the months of March and April, sent a certain uh, medical supplies, certain protective gear to Libya and never left them alone. And after this point, of course, we will continue to do what's necessary in line with our uh, laws of brotherhood, uh, if you will. And our purpose is to be around, uh, ar uh, be around the same uh, political uh, wells and strategies uh, yet again. Distinguished members of uh, press, uh, with Mr. Saraj, we talked about the uh, activities or strategies that will contribute to the welfare, to the peace uh, of our Libyan brothers and sisters. And we. Uh, held a very fruitful, constructive meeting. And the priority for Turkey is uh, that Libya has stability before long. As we stated many times before, the solution can only be possible under the auspices of the nation, uh, United Nations and also uh, with a political process to be led by the Libyans themselves. And Mr. Al Saraj and his uh, government uh, should be in the position, uh, and despite all the war crimes of the coup maker uh, Haftar uh, and his. Uh, uh, people. I would like to underline the coup maker Haftar, and I do not only uh, utter these words in vain. Uh, despite him, uh, Al Saraj and his government should lead. Uh, Haftar, on the other hand, uh, revealed his uh, true face uh, once again after he uh, refused the solutions uh, proposed. There are some who have maybe an understanding uh, that Haftar cannot be put aside. Certain state uh, figures, representatives or heads of state who believe that Haftar, one way or another, should be included into the process. But I would like to remind once again that he has been the uh, person who did not really care for the concerns or problems of Libya and kept the future of Libya under continuous threat and he does not have a representative capacity to sit around a table for solutions. Uh, those who support him politically, economically, or financially, or in many other ways, will be the biggest handicaps uh, that will stand in the way of peaceful solutions. Those who do blood, uh, shed blood will be judged, of course, by the history. Uh, the National uh, Accord, the Government of National Accord, has utilized its, le its legitimate right, uh, and we have been following their development, successful activities unfolding uh, carefully. And we once again reiterate and talked about the necessity of the uh, lifting of the blockage uh, in the country. It is important that the oil export continues and the external intervention into the country uh, come to an end, and we are in terms with Mr. Sarraj here. The coup maker, the plotter government, is uh, engaged in illegal activities or uh, weapons smuggling even. Uh, and to prevent this, international and national regional actors should be uh, directly involved. And we uh, once again would like to make a call to all of them to step into the process for the prosperity, for the welfare of the Libyans. The oil uh, should be used and illegal sales of this oil uh, should not be allowed. Uh, the illegal sales by the coup maker. And also we have signed an MOU on delimitation of maritime jurisdiction areas in the Mediterranean, and we talked about new areas of uh, cooperation with Mr. Saraj, and to make it the best of the means, uh, opportunities available in the Mediterranean, we plan to further uh, solidify our cooperation. And the areas of cooperation in Libya uh, will also uh, be addressed, and we have addressed those issues during our meeting, and we are in terms with uh, Mr. Saraj. Uh, Turkey will always continue to stand with the righteous, and we will continue to do so. And the involvement of uh, Turkey 
in such matters is to the benefit of all the people living in the area. We uh, will not be leaving uh, Libya to the mercy of coup makers and legioners. We support the legitimate government and legitimate institutions of Libya, and we will further support them in the forthcoming periods. Uh, the issue in Libya should be uh, solved on legitimate grounds on uh, with principles of equity and uh, through international platforms. And for that reason, we will act with uh, my dear brother El Sarraj. Therefore, I would like to thank uh, to my brother uh, Al Sarraj for the strong will he has portrayed for cooperation. And I, using this opportunity, would like to once again wish that this meeting will be auspicious for both of our countries. Thank you very much. Brother, His Excellency, uh, it's so impo important uh, that discussions, uh, in the discussions we have uh, dealt with their uh, security and military issues in the region. And also we have dealt with the issues how to uh, enhance the relations between the two countries. And uh, me, I have extended my uh, thanks and appreciations for the uh, Turkey's positions in standing by the Libyan people in defending the legitimacy and against the coup plotters and the criminals who are uh, military uh, rulers. This uh, historic positions came in a time when everyone was standing, uh, looking just to the development. So thank you and thank you for the Turkish people. In this occasion and in this blessed day, and after one year of the uh, blatant uh, attack on Tripoli, by the militias and their supporters, we bring to you the news of the liberation of Tripoli and its surroundings. A few hours ago, in a huge battle that was led by the Libyan army. This victory is for all of us. It's a victory of truth over falsehood. And in this uh, they, we remember the martyrs and we pray for the healing for the injured people. We have stressed for the president and as we have told our people that our battle is continuous and we will continue fighting this enemy and we will work to establish the rule of state over the Libyan soil in order to build the civil democratic modern state. And we wouldn't allow any coup plotter and any person who is keen to get uh, power to take the power uh, in Libya. And we would be always faithful for the blood and the uh, sacrifices of our martyrs. And we will not uh, negotiate with the uh, war criminal. And we re reiterate again uh, that any position with our government uh, uh, in any uh, reconciliation or any negotiations in the future is we, we didn't g give any uh, permission for them to participate and we will not concede in achieving law and justice for bringing to accountability for the, the perpetrators and, and the, those who committed war cr uh, crimes. And these are our positions for the future negotiations. And this is against the new calls that are uh, trying to attack our na nationalism. So, uh, and we will continue our effort to build the modern state. In this regard, I send uh, a word to the sponsors and the supporters, state supporters for Haftar, that we will tell them that you're betting you have lost your bet and and you have uh, you were inflicted with the uh, defeats on the on the walls of tripoli despite all the money and the ammunition that you have sent to the war criminal so uh, pull back from our country and leave 
leave us alone because history will not be merciful to you. Finally, I would like to say that Libya has the resources for democracy and building the modern state due to its strategic position. And we, we look for the continuous cooperation uh, between us and Turkey due to its financial and economic abilities. And after this phase, we look forward uh, to get back the Turkish uh, companies to continue the rebuilding of the, uh, of, uh, the Libyan cities and, and the cooperation between the two countries will be in all fields in order to achieve uh, all the needs for both peoples. Once again, I repeat my appreciations and thanking for the Turkish government and the Turkish state for their positions and I wish them uh, uh, the best future and the brightest futures. And also I commemorate all our fighters who achieved these new victories. Thank you very much. We have been listening to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan speak live there next to his Libyan counterpart, Prime Minister Fayez al-Saraj. There in the Turkish capital, Ankara, uh, President Erdogan, of course, fully reiterating Turkey's unwavering support for the prime minister and his government of national accord. President Erdogan said any solution to find peace in Libya must go through the auspices of the United Nations. And those who try to argue that uh, warlord Khalifa Haftar should have a role, should be included in the peace process, are simply wrong. He says that uh, Khalifa Haftar would simply stand in the way of a peaceful solution in Libya. I'm being told now we can speak to our Middle East correspondent, Sarah Firth, who joins us live from Ankara. She's, of course, been following uh, that meeting since Haftar uh, since uh, al-Saraj arrived in uh, the Turkish capital. Sarah, so